Well, this morning we're taking a trip to San Gabriel for our SoCal Spotlight. This city is a melting pot of cultures, natural beauty, and history. KCAL News reporter Amanda Sarantino is live there right now to show us around. So beautiful, Amanda. This city is so gorgeous. Right when I was driving through this morning, I was so surprised and in awe of just how beautiful it is. But you guys mentioned history, and we're stepping into California history here at the Ro Rom Ramona Museum of California History. This is one of their staple pieces here. It's actually been in the museum since they opened it in the 1970s. It is a rockaway carriage that was used by Colonel Fremont back in the 1870s when he visited Los Angeles. And San Gabriel is known as the birthplace of the Los Angeles region. So joining us now is Rosemary Lipman. She is one of the volunteers here making this museum come to life for so many people. Tell us a little bit about what this museum means. Oh my goodness, it adds so much color and flavor to the city here in its historic Mission District. It's just part of one of three big museums here, and it gives you an overall picture. Our, our, the scope of our museum is from the earliest Californians here, the Native Americans, all the way through statehood. As you go through the museum, you're going to see it in different periods. We bring all kinds of school children through here, and it's free. And we're, we, like, we like free. So when we talk about bringing school kids in here, they really get some hands-on uh, looks at things. Yeah, so, you can only read about so much in a yeah. book, you know, but when they, when they come in, we always allow them, if they feel comfortable enough to do it, we let them pick this up. This is from the Civil War, and when they don't understand just how heavy it was and how much difficult it must have been to be able to take a... Uh, a I feel like I need two hands. No, okay. Oh. Pounds. And when they feel this, this is the reality of history, and you don't always get that from a textbook. You just can't, you can't feel it. So we try and give them a little bit more personal information so that they, they can understand what it might have been like to live during that time. Yeah. So this is, this is one of the pieces. Here. Just one of the items. We have amazing pictures in here going through California history as well, up and down the state. We also have some clothing items to see. Um, and then when we move into this other room, this is really interesting. That's what we were just showing you guys in our tease right here. Some other items of what really was the early stages of California. Oh, yeah. Every little town had to have certain things. It had to have a newspaper for, blip, blip, uh, for <laughs> publicity, and they needed a blacksmith to help build the town because there wasn't, a lot, there wasn't any place you could go back then. Yeah. You couldn't go to Home Depot and buy anything. So the blacksmiths would ba basically fabricate everything from nails, they would put, you know, during the day when we used horses, of course, they had to shoot. I mean, I was just looking at these bridles, too. Imagine using one of those. Oh, no, I know. Heavy duty. They look complicated, but when they, they're not too. When you see them, put them on. It's like it didn't. It goes on so easily and so simply. Yeah. But all of these tools were early from that time period. All of this stuff was collected, many of these items from our own members. And so you're going to find a lot of things you think that, uh, that help illustrate yeah. the time period. And a highlight over here, I really want to focus on this, is when you're looking into the history of our law enforcement here in California. A lot to see right here um, that's really quite interesting of the early stages of our law enforcement. Well, I have to say, we were very fortunate to receive a lot of items from Eugene Biscalusa's family. He was the sheriff of L.A. County for more than 50 years. These batch, This is his badge collection. He was almost a, an ambassador between us and Mexico, too. Uh, at, he actually went after uh, a, an early criminal and brought him back. He was he, he just was really a very uh, determined law enforcement officer, very well respected in the community. And I don't know if anybody in your audience would remember, but he used to ride a white horse with a silver saddle in the Rose Parade every year when he oh, wow. was here. Amazing. So this is just a tiny little bit of so much that it offers here at the Ramona Museum of California History. Definitely come check it out. Bring your kids to, especially when they're learning all about their California history in elementary school. We have more to show you on SoCal Spotlight throughout the day, but this part is definitely where you need to start. Back and to you guys. I love thank hearing so from much. historians yeah. like her who know so much about Southern California. Amanda, thank you. The time right now is...